Hey, what's up? This is Ryan Sims. I'm a Buff Ambassador, and today we're going to talk about high speed sync and how to use that to blend natural lighting with flash photography. So, using high speed sync in flash photography, I'm sure to many people can seem a little intimidating. And I follow a lot of photographers. I spend a lot of time scrolling on my phone. It inspired me to want to really play around with some of the same techniques that I get to see on a daily basis. So I called up my friend Janine, found this location that had these giant storage crates, and uh, I wanted to find something that really popped out. So we kind of went in the primary color genre. But one of the main things that I really wanted to try was to expose Janine properly and also be able to expose the background. Basically what I'm doing is I'm framing up the subject with the background. And what I might try to do first is expose the background properly, make sure I've got my shutter speed and my aperture the way I want it, knowing that I'm going to bring in a strobe to illuminate the subject. So first couple of test shots, and I do that a lot. I take a lot of test shots. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> take a lot of test shots to make sure that I've got the background illuminated the way that I want, properly exposed. Once I've done that, I'm gonna bring in the light, expose my subject, and whether that's moving the light closer, moving it back, increasing the power, decreasing the power, or using TTL, it really doesn't have to be much more complicated than that. One of the really cool features that I love about shooting with high-speed sync is because I do love the dreamy portraiture where you can have more controlled range with your camera. If I want to shoot at a really low aperture to really focus in on the subject but have that you know, bokeh, uh, dreamy background, uh, then I can do that. It, it frees up my range with my shutter speed to really crank it up to 2,000, 5,000, 8,000, whatever it needs to be uh, to get that proper exposure while dropping my aperture down to 1.8 or 2.8. And that's one of the things I really enjoyed about this photo shoot is the fact that we got to go outside and with a one light setup and just have fun, you know? And, and if you're not really used to shooting uh, at a low aperture, high shutter speeds, uh, because maybe you haven't shot high speed sync before, uh, the TTL feature is really, really cool for that. It kind of helps give you a little bit more of a balance with your lighting uh, and, and camera settings. This was just a great opportunity for me to be able to step back from all of the heavy Photoshop editing and be able to do something that was just a little bit more pure, a little bit more uh, natural and just fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. You can check out me and my work at ryansimsphotography.com and we will see you in the next video.